Good morning, everybody. 644 on a Tuesday morning, and here's a live shot of the Civic Center in downtown Holland. These are not raindrops. That's vegetation, probably just uh, not leaves, but just some branches or something showing up there. But things are quiet out there uh, across most of the area, but that won't be the case throughout the day. We have this low pressure system that's down over the what we call the Arklatex area. So that's Arkansas, Louisiana and Texas. This is drawing up moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. When I talk Gulf moisture, yeah, a lot of our rain in cases like this where these lows draw up moisture off the Gulf of Mexico, that's what these arrows represent that flow. You see all this moisture here in green. That's all going to move our way. It won't get here through the morning hours. But as we get into the later afternoon hours in the evening, all this moisture is going to be working into our area. This is going to be a widespread rain, probably about a half inch to an inch of rain by the time all is said and done. Wettest period is this evening, the overnight hours and the first part of tomorrow morning. Yes, we have some rain showers out there over Lake Michigan. These are lifting or peeling off to the north and east. So places like Oceana County, maybe Muskegon County get clipped by this, perhaps even northwestern portions of New Ago County as we go through the morning hours. But as we pull out to a little bit wider perspective, you can see there are drier, somewhat drier conditions out here to our immediate southwest. And then as you go further down to the south and west from St. Louis down further south and west of there, that's where the heavier moisture will be coming up here and riding into our area as we go into the later afternoon and the evening hours. Temperatures are mild. They never really fell below the upper 50s across a lot of the area. Fulton is an exception. They're 54 degrees there, 56 in Soresco. Hartford in Van Buren County is 60 degrees. We have 58 in Hastings, Hopkins in Allegan. Grand Rapids is 58 degrees. It's 55 in Belding and to the north. You'll find temperatures as warm as 63 right now in Fremont. So it's not a shocker as you head out this morning. Uh, it looks pretty good as we uh, expect our forecast to be maybe a little bit of sunshine early this morning, but the clouds will certainly thicken up. Still going to be mild. We're looking for highs up around 70 degrees today, and you can see that on our future track model. Maybe a little bit of sunshine, especially the further north and east of Grand Rapids that you go. Dry through the morning hours, but here comes that slug of moisture as we get into the late afternoon and the evening hours. This is a widespread rain. Uh, we're not looking at anything strong or severe, just some general rain showers to continue right into tomorrow morning. So the morning commute's likely going to be wet. That goes through the morning hours, and then that will eventually lift out of here. We could see some late day clearing. High pressure will build in here, but it's going to be noticeably cooler temperatures, far more seasonable by the time we go into Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Uh, you can see high pressure still in control though through our Thursday with a fair amount of sunshine in here. Uh, and as we look at our seven day planner, here's what we're looking at for uh, today. Again, last of the really warm days, 71 degrees there. The whole front part of this day for most of us look dry, but as we get in the later afternoon and the evening, we'll see the rain showers develop. Lows by tomorrow morning will drop into the upper 40s. That 58 degrees will occur uh, for tomorrow at midnight. That'll be the, the high temperature for the 24 hour period. The arrow represents that the temperatures will likely fall and then only rebound into the lower 50s by the time we get into Wednesday afternoon. You may be wondering how much rain will fall. Look at the forecast model here. It's the European model. Everybody gets it on something. We all tabulate probably about a half inch to an inch of rain. Some places it could be a little bit higher than that, but it's a widespread soaking rain. Then we kick that system out of here. We're 54 with sunshine on Thursday, 57 with sunshine on Friday, 60 with some sunshine on Saturday, 59 degrees on Sunday, and Monday is the last of the uh, month. It's uh, October 31st. It's Halloween. There is a chance of a shower. One forecast model has rain coming in during the day, but kicks it out of here in time for the trick or treaters. Another forecast model has it coming in for the trick or treaters. So we have to resolve that. We'll fine tune that as we get a little bit closer, but uh, that's what we'll throw out there right now. That's our forecast. It's 648. Here's our traffic with Rob Westaby.